Hello, my sisters in Christ. We are coming to you with some dry, crusty hair. But I will be showing you my semi-wash day on how I prepare my hair for my wigs. So I like to start by sectioning my hair off first and then I go towards the back section. I always do the back section first, don't ask me why. But I go ahead and spritz my hair making sure that it's nice and damp for when I start applying product. Recently, I've been addicted to using my mango and coconut water deep conditioner first before pre-pooing. I absolutely love this product and it smells like Jamaica's Beach. No, it's not a stretch. I just love it because it's able to glide through my hair easily. It's very lightweight but yet still thick and it cuts my detangling process in half if you can see here when i detangle it with my brush it's just gliding through like butter which we love so after i section it apply the product i go ahead and twist it up and i move on to the next section Put the deep conditioners pretty much in my hair. I'm going in with the Brahmi and Horsetail Infused Herbal Growth in Scalp Oil. It is the Golden Frankincense and Myrrh. I absolutely love this bottle. It has the nozzle for easy application and it also comes with a cap so it does not get messy. Let's just take a look at this label. It is so pretty. Anyways, I add this oil all over my scalp, getting it deep onto my scalp and to my roots, massaging it in, and then I'm going to go sit underneath the steamer. Now it is time to wash this out. I'm not gonna lie to you, I sat outside of the steamer for a little bit, so my hair dried up a little bit, but we're going to go ahead and soak it under some water, and then we're going to go in with our shampoo. Today I am using the Basque and Bloom shampoo bar, and it smells like tangerines. I absolutely love it. It's very cleansing, and it also lathers up really quickly. It has great slip there's nothing bad that I can say about this shampoo and no it is not sponsored I just really love this shampoo Now I'm going in with my Aussie Moist Conditioner. It's not my favorite, but I'm using it because it's all I have and I'm just finger detangling my hair, making sure that it's still detangled for when I apply my leave-in conditioner. And now for the star of the show, my honey and hibiscus leave-in conditioner. It's so lightweight yet so moisturizing. I believe it's fit for everyone's hair and it smells amazing. My hair just soaks it up, it loves it. You can tell the difference after I use this leave-in conditioner. So now all I'm doing is sectioning off my hair to actually protect it. Now this is the make or break part of 
the wash day. You have to make sure that you are sectioning off your hair in a way that if you do choose to wear a wig that requires leave out you can and if you choose to wear a wig that requires no leave out you can do that as well so i just section off my sides and the front and i get it out of the way before i start twisting um, the back of my hair making sure that it's nice and moisturized underneath my wig caps I honestly don't know what is the star of the show, the honey and hibiscus leave-in conditioner or the amla and hemp seed infused love twist curl cream. Look at that rose gold cap, look at the details. It's such a beautiful product and on the inside it's really pretty as well. It's a thick but yet still lightweight curl cream that gives great hold. I love that it comes with this cap that protects the product from getting all over the beautiful rose gold cap as well. But all I do is just rake that through my hair and it also just makes my detangling process just like butter. I really enjoy this product and I'm going to be using this on all of my twists throughout my head. So now that all the twists in the back of my head are completed, it's nice and moisturized, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the front of my hair, which I'm pretty much gonna do the same thing, apply product, detangle it, and this time I'm going to flat twist it, making it easier to be versatile in between wigs. I really hope you enjoyed all the products that I've shown today. Make sure that you check out Holy Hair and Skin Care's website and leave your email so you can be notified on the launch of all of these amazing products. I can truly vouch for these because I've been using it for months now and my hair has been making great strides along with my daughter's hair as well. But I'm not going to talk too long. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next clip because my camera is about to die. Okay, so this is the final look. My camera died before I can show you how I finished the twist, but I just did some regular twists and I added some of my uh, hair oil just to my scalp. Nothing too serious because I have used it when I deep conditioned. But. Your girl just got two new wigs, so this style is perfect um, for that. And I'm not gonna open it yet, but if you wanna see what these wigs look like and how I style them, make sure that you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss that video coming next Wednesday. I'll see y'all later, bye.